You get to have two specialties in one, family medicine and public health. You can do research, you can have a medical officer of health position, and you can also do clinical work on the side. There are people doing all of those things uh, in our program and also after they graduate. I think there's a misconception about um, public health having no clinical practice. Being in the family medicine and public health stream, I can definitely say that you don't have to choose one or the other. I get to continue seeing patients in clinic, addressing their medical needs or mental health, um, advocating for their social needs to be met. They're still quite active in a clinical capacity, whether it's in addiction clinic, uh, travel clinic, STI clinic, um, or even family medicine itself. Things like mental health and substance use, things like poverty or housing or access to health services or racism really do impact people's health and people's lives very deeply to understand um, how to address those same medical and social needs and mental health needs, but at the level of communities, at the level of policy, at the level of populations. And I think that's really important and very powerful. You can flip back and forth from the world of individual patient care to working at a population level. This is a skill that takes practice, but with the five-year residency program, you have the time to really develop these skills. This was especially relevant for patients with complex care needs or underlying social concerns. Because of the public health training, I had a better understanding of the system that they were trying to work within and how I, as their family physician, can help them navigate that system. We get to focus upstream, we get to think about prevention, we get to ask the question of why people are getting sick and why people are unwell, instead of downstream kind of treatment oriented. You might be feeling tired and a little burned out right now. If you are, then a five-year residency program might seem really long. The additional three years of public health training provides a skill set and knowledge base that is specific for working at a population level. Opportunities and skills and knowledge that I otherwise would never have had the chance to explore. So if there's anybody who um, is interested in public health but also not sure about leaving clinical medicine entirely, um, I strongly encourage you to consider the family medicine public health stream.